Um, Horizon Forbidden West. Uh, we're going to not only talk about Horizon Forbidden West, but we're also going to talk about our personal reviews of the first game. Um, so <laughs> Horizon Forbidden West, it looks really pretty. Um, as you would expect from a um, Sony game, it looks pretty. Um, I wasn't the biggest fan of the first one. So my goal is that this one kind of fixes a lot of problems I had with the first one, which was traversal was boring. Going around the map for me personally was just kind of boring. And unlike games like even Red Dead, which I can find fun in going around a map in, despite its tedium, tediousness or whatever, I don't know which word could be used for that. Um, <laughs> it was still fun to go around that map. And Horizon, it isn't very fun to go around the map. There's tons of um, fast travel points everywhere, but just fast travel alone doesn't make navigating on a map fun. So I wanna go through some pros and cons of Horizon Zero Dawn. You can give some of your pros and cons. I'll give some of my pros and cons. We're gonna start with the pros, okay? I have two pros specifically. The world is very interesting. And the plot is interesting. <laughs> but on the, but, you know, before we get into cons, do you have any other pros before we go to cons? Uh, I talked about this to you a little bit. I like being able to jump. Um, for some reason in video games, it's become a common trend to either give your main character like no jump at all or like the world's tiniest two inch hop. Like I, when I'm playing Resident Evil 8, I instinctively press X so often and it does nothing. And I'm like, let me jump. <laughs> yeah. And like, I don't like the ability to not jump. In Horizon, you jump high, incredibly high for a human with lots of heavy metal gear on you. And I quite like that because yes, let me jump. Also, I disagree with you on the traversal a little bit. I actually really like the traversal. I do really like the traversal. Um, I think the traversal is tedious because unlike um, a very similar game, um, Ghost of Tsushima, which I'll be comparing this to Ghost of Tsushima a lot in that um, it's an open world action game. Um, the, um, this comparison specifically is even though the climbing system is very similar, the, in terms of just traveling, there's, to me personally, I just, I don't find it as nice to look at. And I don't think the side missions are fun in Horizon, as, as fun as they are in, um, Ghost of Tsushima. And there's a bunch of them everywhere. So you'll always- I'm not going to lie. I don't think I've even played a side mission in- <laughs> exactly. And for me, traversal is more is like when you're traversing something, you want it to look pretty, which it looks it looks good. Don't get me wrong. It looks good. I just don't look, you know, compared to Ghost, it's nothing. Um, and it just there's nothing interesting to do as you traverse. Like you don't randomly like in Red Dead 2, somebody will come up with a prisoner and you could release the prisoner and get a reward or maybe an animal will attack you or some somebody will come and try to rob you. Like you don't have any interesting encounters. You might run across an animal, but you, I mean, robot, but you find robots everywhere. So it's not that interesting when you come across a robot because robots are literally everywhere. <laughs> but yeah, jumping's cool. I just yawn, bro. It would be cool if that jumping was paired with climbing, which, um, you know, um, goes to the cons. This game, unfortunately, came out the same year as Breath of the Wild and Assassin's Creed Origins, which are two very similar games, open world action adventure games, where in both Breath of the Wild and Assassin's Creed Origins, you can climb literally everything. You can climb everything. Anything you see, you can climb in that game, in those games. And because this game came out the same year, um, being able not to climb anything hurts because it makes it seem less in comparison to other games. And in my opinion, it actually does make it less than those other games because there's so much to climb. It looks like it would be fun to climb. There are rock faces everywhere. And in this new game, it doesn't seem like they really fixed that problem. At the very least, if there's anything I can say, at least it gives you the ability to jump because in Breath of the Wild, you have the new very tiny jump, which is one of the things I, mean, I noticed. You know, Revali's Gale and you can, yeah, but like you don't get that for a, a good until you beat the what is it the second divine say, beast? I was gonna say it doesn't. I mean, you could just go straight to that if you wanted to. <laughs> that is true. I didn't go straight to that. Though. That was the second divine beast I took down. So that's like 
that for a long time I wasn't able to jump. I was just able, or I was able to, like that's all I was able to do, and that's that that's not fun. <laughs> I don't like that. And then in Origins, you can't jump unless you're doing parkour. Like you have no like genuine jump button. You're just like running and leaping. And like for that traversal system works, but like you know what I mean. You you get what I'm saying. Yeah. For me, um, the gameplay loop in general is just kind of boring. Because like you said, the side quests, there really aren't many. And they aren't very interesting. Um, so all you really have to do is just try to like run through the story. And for me, the story falls flat because a lot of the missions tend to be the same every time. And um, none of the characters are interesting, except for maybe Aloy and the Black guy. Um, is from like the wire other than those two characters um everybody's boring <laughs> i don't like anybody else um the story like i said is interesting and the world of course is interesting like the story about how the origin of these robots and how they got here and he, and what they're there for is super yeah, i didn't get that far that's the coolest part of the game but all of that is isolated it's really isolated and all the characters surrounding it suck Aloy isn't the most interesting character either. She's not at <laughs> all. She's a very cookie cutter basic character. Um, and because of that, I just couldn't really find much enjoyment in the game. I tried to play it a couple of days ago because I was like, okay, for Britain West is coming out this year. Let me give it a try again. Dude, <laughs> 30 minutes in, I was so tired. I was just like, what is happening? Why is my energy being sucked away from me? <laughs> like, you know a game is boring because you will just get tired when you're playing it. <laughs> that's what happens to me when I play RPGs <laughs> and that's what happens to me when I'm playing Horizon I just get tired because it's so boring I'm not supposed to be getting tired I'm supposed to be having fun like when I play Resident Evil I'm having fun it's great 